Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Ayaz Tech. Today we are going to talk about an important topic in Angular development. How to get data from JSON server. This is something every developer needs to know and I am going to make it as simple as possible. So let's dive in. Before we get into the code, let's take a moment to understand what we are working with. JSON Server is a simple project that helps you to set up a REST API with CRUD operations in no time. Angular, on the other hand, is a popular web application framework developed by Google. We will be using Angular to make HTTP requests to our JSON Server and fetch data. So first thing first, let's set up your JSON Server. You will need to have Node.js and NPM installed on your machine. If you don't have them installed, you can download them from the official Node.js website. Or you can also watch my previous videos where I have already shown how to do that. So with Node.js and NPM installed, open your terminal command probe. And first of all, you can check your Node version for me. You will see I have 18.16 installed and npm version it is 9.5.1 so now you can run this command npm install global json server press enter this command installs json server globally in your machine now we need to create a db.json file you can name it whatever you want but i will use db.json this file serve as our database. So let's do that. I will, I will create a folder. I will open it in any editor. You can open it any editor if you want to. I just need to create a file. So I used VS code. Just make things easy for me. Okay, I created db.json file. And here I will create my JSON. All right. Now save this file anywhere you want to save it. I have saved it here. So after that is done, open your terminal and make sure you are in the same directory in your terminal where your db.json file exists. Now type this command json-server watch db.json. So make sure this file name is correct. Now press enter. With that, you can see that the server has started and it has given you some URLs that you can use. So for example, this is a home of the server and here you can see all of the resources of uh, the endpoints that you can use. So it is you, currently you have only resources for post. So if you click on the post, it will give you all of the post and here you can see it is giving you some information uh, to access modify resources you can use only http method so also there is a documentation link as well that you can use to read if you want to now i will create another property in this subject that is categories okay now if you reload it you will see that now we have second resource for categories as well and also it is telling you that there are two uh, elements or two entries in this resource so you can see it is working now it's time to use it in angular now so let's move to angular you should have an angular cli installed on your machine if not you can install it by using this command you have to type ng uh, npm install minus g angular CLI. I already have it installed so I don't need to run it but you can run it if you don't have it. I can show you my version as well. So this is my angular CLI version that is 16.0.5. Now after that you have to create your angular project by running this command ng new and your project name press enter and this will generate a new fresh angular project. I already have generated my project so I will open that one. Now open your project that you generated and you have to start your server by running this command ng-serve press enter and after it is done it will run your server in the browser so it will give you a unique url that you have to open in the browser 
So this is my Angular server that is currently running in browser. First of all, we need to import HTTP client module in our app module. So open your app.module.ts and here import the HTTP client module. We already have imported it. So I will skip that part. You must have to import it. So because this HTTP client module enables us to use HTTP client, which we will use to make HTTP requests. Now open your app.component.ts file and then import the HTTP client and you have to inject the HTTP client service in your constructor. So I will do that. If you are using VS Code, you will be able to import this library, this service easily with the help of the suggestion. For example, type HTTP, HTTP client and if you press enter, it will automatically import that service for you. If you are not using this editor, you may have to type it manually or if you are not getting suggestions, you can type it manually. So we already have injected the service. Now finally make a get request to fetch data from your JSON server. For that, I will use this .http.get and here you need to specify the URL that where your server is running. So I will copy the node JSON server URL and put the endpoint path. Now it will return me uh, an observable that I will subscribe to. And in this subscribe function, I need to pass the callback function and that callback function will receive the response from the server that then we can show in the HTML so and here I will replace this dot data with the new data that we just got now in the HTML I will display that data by using JSON pipe all right you can see that it is showing me the data from the json server now if you go back to the json server and if you make any change that would also be updated there as well by reloading the page save it and now if you reload it it will send the http request again and you will see the response is being shown in the html also if you open the network you can observe the request from there as well it sent a request to the server and if you click on the preview this is the data that it returned back from the JSON server. There you have it folks. That's how you get data from JSON server in your Angular. And remember that you can manipulate this data in any way that fits your, your application. This was a basic introduction and there's a lot more you can do with JSON server and Angular. So please make sure to hit the like button if you found this video useful and subscribe for more coding tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.